भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय श्री कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु 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 कृष्ण यादव कृष्ण यदुकुल कृष्ण माधव मामवदे एव कृष्ण यादव कृष्ण यदुकुल कृष्ण माधव मामवदे एव कृष्ण यादव कृष्ण यदुकुल कृष्ण माधव मामव देव कृष्ण साधु जनाधार साधु जनाधार सार्वभौम साधु जनाधार सार्वभौम साधु जनाधार सार्वभौम साधु जनाधार सार्वभौम माधव मामव देव कृष्ण 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 यादव कृष्ण यदुकुल कृष्ण माधव मामव देव अंबुज लोचन अंबुज लोचन कंबुशुभ ग्रीव बिंबाधर चंद्र बिंबानना 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 चांपेयना सग्र लग्न सुमौक्ति कंपेयना सग्र लग्न सुमौक्ति कंपेयना सग्र लग्न सुमौक्ति कंपेयना सग्र 
ಲಗ್ನ ಸುಮೌಕ್ತಿ ಕಾರದ ಚಂದ್ರಜನೀತ ಮದನ ಶಾರದ ಚಂದ್ರಜನೀತ ಮದನ ಶಾರದ ಚಂದ್ರಜನೀತ ಮದನ ಶಾರದ ಚಂದ್ರಜನೀತ ಮದನ ಮಾಧವ ಮಾಮವ ದೇವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಯಾದವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಯದುಕುಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಾಧವ ಮಾಮವ ದೇವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶಾಂತವಾವನಮಚಿಂತ್ಯ ವೈಭವ ತನ್ನರಂ ಬಹುಶಿಕುಂಜರ ಮುಖೇ ಮನ್ಮಹೇ ಕಿಮಿ ತುಂದಿಲ ಮಹಾಂ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಯಾಂತನ್ನಾಧಿಮಧ್ಯ ನಿ ಗರಚರಣ ನಾಮಗೋತ್ರ ನ ಸೂತ್ರ ನೋ ಜಾತಿನ್ನೈವ ವರ್ಣಾನತಿ ಪುರುಷೋ ನಾನಪುಂಸ ನೀ ನಾಕಾರ ನೋ ವಿಕಾರ ನ ಹಿ ಜನಿಮರಣ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಪುಣ್ಯಂ ನ ಪಾಪಂ ತತ್ವ ನೋ ತತ್ವೇಕ ಸಹಜ ಸಮರಸ ಸದ್ಗುರು ತಂ ನಮಿ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಮೌನವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಟಿತ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮತತ್ವ ಯುವಾನ ವರಿಷ್ಠಾಂತೆ ಸದೃಶಿಗಣೈರಾವೃತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠೈ ಆಚಾರ್ಯೇಂದ್ರ ಕರಕಲಿತ ಚಿನ್ಮುದ್ರಮಾನಂದೂಪ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮಾರಾಮ ಮುದಿತ ವದನ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿಮೀಡಿ ವೇದಾಂತಿಭಾಸಕಾಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಾಯ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ನಾನಾವಾದಿನಗೇಂದ್ರ ಸಂಘ ಪವಯೇ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರ ವಂದ್ಯಾಯ ಮೋಹದ್ವಾಂತಿವಾಕರ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಿಭ್ರದೆ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಸತತ ಪೂರ್ಣಾಯ ಬೋಧಾತ್ಮನೆ ಅಪಾರ ಸಚ್ಚಿತ್ಸುಖವಾರಿರಾಶಿ ಯೋರ್ಮಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಭುವನ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಗುಹಾಹಿ ತಂ ರಮಣ ಗಭೀರ ಚಿಂತಾವಿಹೀನ ಹೃದಿ ಚಿಂತೆಯ ದೇಹಂ ಋಣ್ಮಯವಜ್ಜಡಾತ್ಮಕಮಹಂ ಬುದ್ಧಿರ್ನ ತಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತು ನಾಹಂ ತತ್ತದಭಾವಸುಪ್ತಿ ಸಮಯೆ ಸಿದ್ಧಾತ್ಮಸದ್ಭಾವತಃ 
ಗೋಹಂ ಭಾವಯುತ ಕುತೋ ವರಧಿಯ ದೃಷ್ಟ್ವಾತ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠಾತ್ಮನ ಸೋಹಂ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿತ ಅರುಣಾಚಲಶಿವ ಪೂರ್ಣೋ ವಿಭಾತಿ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಯೋಂತ ಪ್ರವಿಶ್ಯ ಮಮ ವಾಚ ಮಿಮಾಂ ಪ್ರಸುಪ್ತ ಸಂಜೀವಯತ್ಯ ಕಿಲ ಶಕ್ತಿಧರ ಸ್ವಧಾಂ ಅನ್ಯಾಂ ಸಹಸ್ರಚರಣ ಶ್ರವಣತ್ವಗಾದೀನ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ಪುರುಷಾ ತುಭ್ಯಂ ಜನ್ಮಾತ್ಯಸ್ಯತೋನ್ವಯಾತಿರತ ಅರ್ಥೇಶ್ವಿಜ್ಞಸ್ವರಾಟ್ ತೇನೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಹೃದ ಆಧಿಕದೇ ತೇನೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಹೃದ ಆಧಿಕವೇ ಮುಹ್ಯಂತ ಯತ್ಸೂರಯ ತೇಜೋ ವಾರಿ ಮೃದ ಯಥಾ ವಿನಿಮಯೋ ಯತ್ರ ತ್ರಿಸರ್ಗೋ ಮೃಷಾ ಧಾಮ್ನಾ ಸ್ವೇನ ಸದಾ ನಿರಸ್ತಕುಹಕ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಪರಂ ಧೀಮಹಿ ಕಸ್ಮೈ ಯೇನ ವಿಭಾಸಿ ಯಮತುಲೋ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರದೀಪ ಪುರ ತದ್ರೂಪೇಣ ಜನಾರದ ಯಮುನಯೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾ ತದ್ರೂಪಿಣ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರಾಯ ತದಾತ್ಮನಾಥ ಭಗವದ್ರಾತಾಯ ಕಾರುಣ್ಯತ ತತ್ಶುದ್ಧ ವಿಮಲ ವಿಶೋಕ ಅಮೃತ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಪರಂ ಧೀಮಹಿ ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರೋಜ್ಯತ ಕೈತವೋತ್ರ ಪರಮೋ ನಿರ್ಮತ್ಸರ ಸತಾ ವೇದ್ಯ ವಾಸ್ತವಮತ್ರ ವಸ್ತು ಶಿವದ ತಾಪತ್ರೋನ್ಮೂಲ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಾಗವತೆ ಮಹಾಮುನಿ ಕಂ ವಾಪರೈ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸದ್ಯೋ ಹೃದಯವರುಧ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಶುಶ್ರೂಷಿಸ್ತಕ್ಷಣ ನಿಗಮಕಲ್ಪತರೋರ್ಗಳಿತ ಫಲ ಶುಕಮುಖಾದೃತದ್ರವ ಸಂಯುತ ಪಿಬದ ಭಾಗವತ ರಸ ಆಲಯ ಮುಹುರಹೋ ರಸಿಕಾ ಭುವಿ ಭಾವುಕಾ ಎಂ ಪ್ರವ್ರಜಂತಮನುಪೇತಮೇತಕೃತ್ಯ ದ್ವೈಪಾಯನೋ ವಿರಹ ಕಾತರ ಆಜುಹಾವ ಪುತ್ರೇದಿ ತನ್ಮಯತೆಯ ತರವೋಭಿನೇದು ತಂ ಸರ್ವೂತ ಹೃದ ಮುನಿ ಆನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಯಸ್ವಾನುಭಾವಖಿಲ ಶ್ರುತಿಸಾರಮೇಕ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮದೀಪ ಅತಿಥಿತಿರ್ಷತ ತಮೋಂಧ ಸಂಸಾರಿ ಕರುಣೆಯ ಪುರಾಣ ಗುಹ್ಯಂ ತಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೂನು ಮುಪಯಾಮಿ ಗುರು ಮುನೀನ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇತ್ ಸಚ್ಚಿದನಂದೂಪ ವಿಶ್ವತ್ಪತ್ತೇತವೆ ತಾಪತ್ರಯ ವಿನಾಶಾ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ವಯಂ ನುಮ ಯೋಂತ ಪ್ರವಿಶ್ಯ ಮವಾಚ ಮಿಮಾಂ ಪ್ರಸುಪ್ತ ಸಂಜೀವಯತ್ಯ ಕಿಲ ಶಕ್ತಿಧರ ಸ್ವಧಾಂ ಅನ್ಯಾಂ ಸಹಸ್ರಚರಣ ಶ್ರವಣತ್ವಗಾದೀನ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ಪುರುಷಾ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮೀಷ್ಟದೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವವಿರಿಂಜಿನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೃತ್ಯಾರ್ತಿಹಂ ಪ್ರಣತಪಾಲ ಭವಾಬ್ಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯಾಂ ಯಾಂ ದಿಶ ಭಜತಿ ಕಂ ಪುರುಷಾಖ್ಯವರ್ಷೆ ಸಂಸೇವಿತ ಹನುಮತ ದೃಢಭಕ್ತಿ ಭಾಜ ಸೀತಾಭಿರಾಮ ಪರಮಾದ್ಭುತೂಪಶಾಲೀ ರಾಮಾತ್ಮಕ ಪರಿಲಸನ್ ಪರಿಪಾಹಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು we have seen the katha of bharata yogeshwara last night a very episode in bhagavata puranam is a profound spiritual experience a meditation 
It is not that something is narrated and we listen and then later on understand it. It is not a class. It is a spiritual experience that happens when you do Shravana. Bhagavata says, Shushru Shibhi Takshanat Sadhyaha Hridi Avarudhyate. The moment you listen that Bhagavat Anubhava already manifests, blossoms within you. Only by that kind of bhakti, when the heart melts, the mind becomes pure. Through actions, only something surface cleansing can happen. In the sixth skanda, the very first story is about Ajamila, where Shukacharya says, Karmana karma nirharaha nahi atyantika ishyate. These are all elaborate signs. You cannot completely undo the effect of actions through actions. Still, all the shastras are prescribing prayashita. To purify you. That is only for avidvada dhigaritvat, only for the avidvada dhigari. A person who do not have sufficient faith in Bhagavan Nama, a person who do not have sufficient faith in Satsanga, for him elaborate some ritual is prescribed as a prayaschita. To purify him, to because he thinks that I have committed so much sin and I cannot come out of it without sufficiently suffering. So that prayaschita, prayo nama tapaf prokrataha. Prayaschita means resolving, taking a resolve to do some kind of conscious, self-initiated suffering through which you purify yourself. So that is given to them. But in a room there is darkness for hundred years, but will it take hundred years to remove that darkness? If you put on the light, that moment darkness goes. Like that, even if you are the greatest sinner, you have committed so many things which are not right, your mind is impure, but the moment Bhagavan's grace descends on you, you will be purified instantaneously. Apichet suduracharaha bhajade maam ananya bhag sadhureva samantavyaha He should be considered as a sadhu, as a saint, as a devotee. Even if he is the greatest sinner, Durachari. Samyak Vyavasito Hisaha, he has taken a right, perfect resolve to surrender to Bhagavan. So, this is the power of Bhagavan Nama, the name of Bhagavan. This is the power of Satsanga, the presence of Mahapurushas. So, in this episode of Ajamila, Bhagavata gives out the power of Narayana Nama. We know the story, so I am not elaborating that story here. He had a fall. He was a good ritualistic, disciplined, noble Brahmana outside. But inwardly, of course, he might have carried that desire inside him. So he slipped from that life and married a unchaste woman and had many children in her. 
and his last child he gave the name narayana the story is not there in bhagavatam but akhandananda saraswati swami ji says a side story how come ajamila such a fallen person he gave narayana nama to his son he was staying in a village where all people everyone were despising him nobody will go to his house because he is a fallen person one day a sadhu a mahatma came to that village asking for bhiksha some youngsters were roaming about there when the sadhu asked where will i get a bhiksha get bhiksha then this youngster told him that ajamela's house is there he is the most achara shila here so he is the most noble person in this village go to his house so this brahmana this sanyasi went there and said narayana hari then that lady came out all the children seeing the house the presence that mahatma understood what has happened but he decided bhagwan has sent me here there must be some there must be some purpose behind it so he went there and that lady said maharaj you should not come here nobody comes to our house we are impure so please don't think i refused bhiksha to you we are fallen ones then that mahatma said give me at least a tumbler of water so she brought water then she had a little just now born baby few days the naming ceremony has not happened so that lady asked mahat ma maharaj aap please give some good name to this child all other children we have not given any god's name all titu tutu kuttu now you give some bhagavan nama shabda brahma so here that mahatma said call him narayana see through that name ajamila was initiated that is why that nama had so much power anything which comes from a mahapurusha carries the seed of enlightenment in it ajamila became tremendously attached to that child and always calling narayana 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 and he was in his death bed and suddenly he saw all the yamadutas terrible people the fear arose ati bhishana katu bhashana yamakinkara patali all terror creating forms terrorizing forms seeing them he called narayana not that vishnu narayana his child but behind that is the power of the saint that awoke the samadhi state he had a vision of all the vishnu dutas there they came and there was a daivasura fight in his bhava mandala there ha- he had initiation he had satsanga contact with divine beings even in astral plane you can have satsanga actually satsanga in astral plane is more important than satsanga in physical plane sometimes you will come in the physical satsanga and sleep but in the astral plane in the sukshma sharira in the linga sharira if you your mind starts meditating contacting saints actually so dream visions are more powerful spiritually sometimes more than physical darshana dream visions are very powerful because you are directly intimately having a satsanga so this mahatmas this deva vishnu dutas 
gave him that upadesha and he became a virakta the story does not end there many people think that we called narayana and he was taken to vaikuntha no he became a vairagi and he came to this place to haridwar iti jata sunurvedah kshana sangena sadushu gangadwaram upeyaya mukta sarvatma bandhanah he became a vairagi dispassionate person and then came to gangadwar and did immense tapas bhakti sadhana and attained bhagavan that is ajamila story which comes in the sixth skanda and there is also one more very important spot here bhakti we said ajamila was one example the another is one terrible person is vritrasura even in the vedas he comes vritrahatya but there was his heart was like butter so soft and he was also a great bhakta i am also not going to elaborate that story in his last moment he had the vision of bhagwan because in his last birth he was initiated as a vidyadhara he was moving about he was initiated by sankarshana see spiritual life is very mysterious we see only one part of it one episode of it it's a long serial people are watching serial after serial so your life is only one episode you have a vision of a mahatma once in a while casually many ha- many have come to swami shivanji maharaj without knowing they came to haridwar or rishikesh then they had a vision of mar swami ji and they go back and they say ah we had darshanam we don't know where the seed falls and where it germinates sometimes in some other birth somewhere else so in his last birth he had the vision of the bhagwan so here in the terrible form of a asura his last moment all those vasanas ended that asura vasana ended and there he had that gentle vision of sankarshana hari before him and his heart was melting and he was expressing his devotion in inimitable language this is in vallabhachare sambradaya they call this as very important they don't even take chadushlogi bhagavatam they say this is the hridayam of bhagavatam this vritra says indra is there standing before him with vajrayuda to kill vritra vritra knows he will get killed he has won over indra many times after much tapasya indra has made the vajrayuda and has now come to kill vritra and he knows he is going to die and all people who were around him they all have left anityam asukham lokam imam prapya bhajaswamam now he understood you cannot believe anyone in this world all will leave you one day the only hold anchorage refuge is bhagwan so vritra told indra kill me cut this body this asura sharira aham samadhaya mano yatha sankarshanastha charana ravinde tvadvajra rambho lulita gramya pashah gatim munehe yami apavidha lokah eva indra if you cut this body this body will fall and i will merge with bhagwan and i will have that state which all the great sages the munis attained you i will before leaving the body i will give you 
certain tidbits of teachings. Vritra says, people in world think when Bhagavan gives you grace, you will have money, you will have name, fame, you will have health. And you can do many, many good things in the world. But don't believe them. My experience is different. You know what he will do? When he enters your life, he will close all the doors around you. Only one door will be open, that is to go to him. He will close the door of dharma. You will close the door of artha. You will close the door of kama. Neither can you have wealth, nor can you do virtuous deeds that will bring in punya. Nor can you enjoy pleasures in this world. Only door through which you can walk is dispassion, devotion, jnana, meditation. Nothing else is open before you. Then you know that he has fallen in love with you. What a great teaching this. Pumsam kilai kanta dhyam svakanam ya sampado divibhuma rasayam narati if if he gives you money he is giving you trouble if he, if he gives you wealth you will have people who become jealous of you you have to fight in this world you have to safeguard the wealth putra dabi dhanabhajam bidhi you should even be afraid about your own children all this trouble will come. Madaha, Kalihi, Vyasanam, Samprayasaha. All difficulties come to you. Hence, my Bhagavan. This Asura is saying, my Bhagavan. He says, my Bhagavan will not give the worldly things to his devotees. Traivargigayasa vighadamas matpatir vidhatte purushasya shakra. Tato nume yo bhagavat prasadaha yo durlabho akinjana gocharunyehi. Giving this teaching, he forgot Indra. The war field, the battlefield disappeared, vanished from his the vision. He was having the divine vision in front of him. He was in a bhava samadhi, a trance. And he was directly conversing with Hari, with Bhagavan. So melting is this verses. He says, Aham Hare Tava Padai Gamula Dasa Nudaso Bhavitas Mibhuya Manas Mareta Asupater Gunamste Grini Dava Karmagaro Tukaya. This devotee is saying, O oh Bhagavan, O oh Hari, I will be the dasa of your dasa of your dasas. I will be the servant of your servants. Tvad bhritya bhritya paricharaka bhritya 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 sya bhritya yitimam smara lokanatha. When Alvar, he sang to Bhagavan, you can see the verse and make out the meaning. Vritya means servant. I will be the servant of the servant of the servant of your servant. That much of humility, that erasing the ego is expressed. Tvat bhritya bhritya paricharaka bhritya 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 So much bhritya I have not even translated. Bhritya bhritya yitimam smara lokanatha. All the Shiva Bhaktas also in Tamil Nadu, they said, Adiyar kum adiyen. I will be a servant of your servant, O Bhagavan. Even Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi sang, Anbodu unnamam kel anbartam anbarik anbanayida arul arunachala. Arunachala, those who are your beloveds, those who love you, I will be a lover, a devotee of them. So this is the bhava here, Vritra says, Manas Mareta, let my mind constantly get attached to you, contemplate you, Asupate. This Vritra is calling Bhagavan as Asupati. Asupati means Prananatha. 
you are my prana you are my very life vital energy grinita vak let my words be offered to you always let me speak about you let the body serve you i don't want heaven i don't want to be a king of patana neither i don't want to be a chakravarti an emperor in this world i don't want to do sadhana and attain some siddhis neither am i after avoiding rebirth i want to love you i want to remember you day and night you are everything for me samanjasa all inclusive you are purna for me nanakaprishtam na cha parameshtyam na sarvabhaumam narasadhipatyam na yoga siddhi apunarbhavam va samanjasatva virahaya kamkshe that viraha that pang that longing that of separation that the divine longing has arisen in me next verse is something like a classic in mystic literature in the devotional literature the vritra says first he gives an example a bird it lays its eggs and the jiva the life inside the yag it has no idea about its mother just like a child in the womb and the bird roos it gives the warmth of its body to the egg eggs so that the eggs can hatch so from right inside that under that eggs that little ones they have only a feel of motherhood a feel of motherhood no direct contact no direct touch after the hatching of the eggs these babies they come out and there they have the first vision of the mother full of love that mother then also keeps those little ones under its wings giving its warmth after few days one or two days the mother bird will take to its wings to bring food to these little ones then they come to know that pain of separation because for them there is only one world that is the feel of the mother and when that mother motherliness is taken away from them that pain arises and they want to you you can see this if you look from the second floor of a building some house some trees will be there i have seen watched this these little birds they have no wings they cannot follow the mother bird they will just look like this and try to go behind but as they have no wings the wings have not grown they will be striving to go behind but not able to go and whole day they will be like this looking at the sky whether the mother is coming mother is coming mother is coming and here vritra says bhagwan my heart is like that i know your experience i have felt you but i am separated from you the longing is unbearable but i have no wings i have no wings wings means viveka vairagya sadhana these are all wings but i am unable to do anything i am not able to strive i am not able to do anything i can just keep my heart behind the eyes and look at you with the whole heart open longing 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 only that much i can do bhagwan ajata paksha iva mataram khaga some of the great saints have said you cannot find this example anywhere in mystic literature ajata paksha the bird is without wings the wings not grown like that is a devotee a sadhaka an innocent devotee he is not in a state even to use his will has not become powerful 
no sadhana he could perform but that longing is tremendous the heart is blazing within to attain bhagavan so this is the first stage and next is another beautiful scene if you have looked after a cow you will know this example a calf generally the calf will be tethered with a rope and the cow also will be in bound by the time of the evening or morning this little calf will extend to the as much as possible towards its mother and look at the udder and the mother cow also will move towards the child and try to give its milk to the calf but neither the calf can go to the cow nor the cow can come near the calf this is the state of a sadhaka where he is doing some sadhana some japa is done some sadhana is done some shastras are read some pranayama yoga sadhana is done he is striving to the extent possible and bhagavan's grace is also available but some distance some space is there in between which is not allowing you to get connected स्तन्यम यथावत्सतराक्षुधार्ता मेनी ऑफ द साधकास वी कैन वेरी वेल रिलेट विथ दिस एग्जाम्पल्स एंड द थर्ड वन इज लाइक गोपिकास दे हैव दैट लव टू कृष्णा एंड कृष्णा लव टूवर्ड्स दम अगेन सेपरेटेड प्रिय प्रिय व्यूषित विषन्ना सेपरेटेड केप्ट अवे the longing is there bhagwan is longing for the jiva and jiva is also longing for bhagwan and that relationship of bhakti has happened but the oneness has not happened mano aravinda akshadi drikshate tvam like that o oh, aravinda aksha my mind is longing to attain you achieve you and the last verse vartra says even if i take birth give me satsanga let me not get caught with people who always speak about mama uttama shloka janeshu sakyam let me have contact with devotees this is the first line samsara chakre bhramatah swa karma bhi due to the karma through going round in samsara chakra let me not get contact with ignorant people tvan mayaya they are addicted to your maya and they think about atma atmaj dar geheshu asakta chitta they always think about their body their children their wife their house tremendously attached to them always thinking about such things with so much intensity they think about these things and let not have contact with such people bhagwan asakta chittasya nanatha bhuyat this is one of the profound bhakti shastra in bhagavata that we have seen in this vritra stuti and now we are entering the seventh skandha प्रहलाद चरित्र नरसिंह अवतार ए न्यू सेट ऑफ स्पीकर लिसनर कम्स देर All inside Shukacharya's Bhagavata Katha, and that also is being retold to us by Sutta Ugrasrava. And here, Dharma Putra is talking to Narada. He is having a conversation with Sage Narada. 
भगवान नारद महर्षि हैज कम टू विजिट धर्मपुत्र एंड दे वर हैविंग ए सत्संग एंड धर्मपुत्र सेड ओ लॉर्ड आई एम कैरिंग ए डाउट विच इज कॉन्स्टेंटली डिस्टर्बिंग माय माइंड लॉन्ग लॉन्ग बैक इन राजसूय यागव we know that krishna killed shishupala and this fellow was not a devotee right from his lisping time as a baby he had only one job to criticize krishna deriding krishna speaking against krishna he was only doing krishna ninda hating krishna yes that is known to all of us but a phenomenon happened a pratibhasa happened in that rajasuya yaga he completed his ashtottara sadanamavali more than 100 times criticizing krishna in that day he crossed that border and krishna took his sudarshana chakra and killed him his head was severed and from his body an effulgence arose oh lord i was fortunate enough to see that many were assembled there but not all saw that i saw that clearly that a light an effulgence arose from that terrible person that bad person and it went to krishna's feet and merged there i saw it clearly in fact he should have got some terrible disease for doing this but he got mukti he was liberated how is it possible then narada said hey dharmaputra whom do you think bhagwan is is he कुछ मंत्री सम पॉलिटिशियन even mukta and also for bhagwan there is no ego so whether you insult him whether you hate him whether you get angry to him whether you praise him nothing will affect him all affectations are only for the ego and the body but he is beyond both hence nothing will affect him suppose if you are calling somebody in the mobile whether you are go calling him to speak affectionately or whether to get angry with him or whether to cheat him the range is same like that when you have connection with bhagwan in whatever form he doesn't know about your praise or insult he only knows that he is coming to me he is having some relationship with me he is having some connection with me and many have attained like this gopyah kamat bhayat kamsah dvesha chaidyadayo nrupah sambandhad vrishnayah sneha divyam bhaktya vayam this gopa gopastri gopikas 
they were passionately attached to him and they also got liberated and this kamsa whom we are going to see day and night was afraid anything blue color he was afraid and he also got liberated because he was constantly thinking about krishna in ramayana there is a person maricha rama ravana went to him and asked him to go to rama but the moment he heard the name rama he collapsed and maricha says see in my body there is no ratna in my house there is no ratham because that contains a ra the letter ra the repam is there so ravana you also i don't come to see i don't see, i won't i don't want to utter your name because it contains a ra ratnani cha rathashaiva vitrasam janayanti me i'm afraid of this akshara that repa you know in world in many languages people are afraid of rape exactly like maricha in many language they won't say the r become silent world we some people say world <laughs> but but generally they don't say world many places in tamil they will soften this ra by putting a e or a before it il aravana hmm aranganatha aranganatha iravana like that they will soften that letter so here marija says i i, I am afraid of him and not that he is afraid but he says wherever i look i see rama that was his state vrikshe vrikshe hi pashyami that very verse you know it is valmiki's verse that verse contains samadhi that verse contains samadhi valmiki says vrikshe vrikshe hi pashyami chirajina jataadharam गृहीतधनुषम रामम पाशहस्तमिवांतक इन एवरी ट्री इन द ग्रीन लीव आई एम सींग राम एंड वॉट इज दट योग नारद से संरंभ सामधि योग द एंटर माइंड इज कलेक्टेड एंड कैप्ट एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इन द डिवाइन आइदर थ्रू हेट्रेड और थ्रू डिसर और थ्रू जेलसी और थ्रू भक्ति और थ्रू एफेक्शन और थ्रू योग एंड नारद इज गिविंग आउट अ स्ट्रेंज फिलोसफी वेर ही सेज इफ यू गो ऑन हेटिंग हिम इफ यू गो ऑन डिसरिंग हिम इफ यू गो ऑन बिकमिंग जेलस ऑफ हिम if you go on fighting with him if you go on doing devotion to him if you go on practicing yoga you will attain but once in a while you do devotion once in a while you are afraid sometimes you are afraid to become afraid sometimes you are not continuously hating you are doubt there is doubt so see people this icono class or some people who come and destroy temple they were also sent by him only there is some strange phenomenon behind that also they were in from because about this hiranyakashipu hiranyaksha narada says they were constantly in samadhi just think about that in great mahatma's life also we find some people hating them causelessly and we will wonder how can people hate these mahapurushas that is one way of getting connected immensely getting connected and narada says sambrambha sambhrita samadhi anubaddha yoga we cannot follow that path but this knowledge is given to us so that we will not hate the haters 
the risk for a devotee is he will have devotion to bhagwan but there is a chance that he will hate the person who is against our beloved form narada says if you hate an opposer then that hating energy will decrease your devotion so know this signs that he is also getting connected to bhagwan by hating by destroying by fighting by becoming fanatic all those things are ways and means to get a link with the divine whether he understood or not yudhishthira was dazed he said what a path this is kama is a way bhaya is a way dvesha is a way and bhakti is also in narada says we have chosen bhakti you are chosen you have chosen affection the only person who will not attain god the majority belongs to that that is indifferent udasina they say we believe in god but we are not so much into it they say we believe the moment you believe you have closed the door these people are actually worse than an atheist because atheist is constantly thinking about bhagwan denying him at least he is daring to deny but these people through their living through their ideology they are denying but they dare not they have no courage to say that bhagwan does not exist there is a saying in our language that one person says if there is a bhagwan if there is a mukti let me not be deceived from it so i am doing a namaskara that's all this kind of business like devotion no devotion it is just a show off he will not be rescued so here Dharmaputra asked about Hiranyakashipu and Hiranyaksha. In the third skanda, Hiranyaksha story, Hiranya, uh, Hiranyaksha story came. These two, they were very close to Vaikuntanatha. They were the securities there. Very risky job. Chanakya, Chanakya says, uh, Dhananandha, killed all the mauryas the only person who was left over was chandragupta everyone advised him kill him also he said no no i will put him as the manager of the satra allocating rooms to all and uh, giving food why are you doing that because he will get the curse of some good brahmana very risky job so to when you enter an ashrama somebody is telling you should come to food now you should not come go It's a very risky job that satram is that problem is there so in vaikuntha also they are very near vishnu but they got cursed by sanaka sanandana sanatana sanat kumara but they did not allow because they did not allow them to bhagwan this story is all a message you should be very careful when saints come allow him allow them inside to see in Ram, ramana ashram when bhagwan ramana maharshi was there his attendants sometimes they will be very strong say, no one come inside come very risky job so there they got cursed but they said bhagwan what will we do without your presence we do not know anything else then bhagwan said do you want to 
come back quickly or go to earth live a long duration of bhakti and come back no no we want to come back quickly then choose the path of sambrahma yoga hating me fighting with me then they chose the path see they are all greater than devas because they have come down from vaikuntha and they returned in three births our case we are some of us perhaps are elder to brahma ji so many yuga sculptures staying here no so many lives one saint in tiruvannamalai guhenama shivayar said if the mother's milk that i have drunk are all collected it will be more than chirabdhi so many lives urutha irutai palakodiya tai enave avamai aliyate one mother two thousands millions of mothers milk i have drunk so many births but this hiranyaksha and hiranyakashipu now we will come to the story part hiranyakshe putri pravara vapusha deva bhavata हते शोक क्रोध ग्लपित धृतिरे तहज हिण्य प्रारंभ कशिपुरमराति सदसी प्रतिज्ञा माते ने तव किल वधार्थ मधुरीबो आफ्टर हिण्याक्ष वॉज किल्ड बै वराह स्वामी बै वराह अवतार Hiranya Kashibu took a vow to kill Bhagawan, to kill Narayana, to remove everything that is divine. There are many countries like that. We know nothing religious can happen there. Nothing spiritual can survive. Kill everything, exterminate everything. More terrible than pictured in Puranam. so it is not a story always these things are reenacted in the world so hiranyakashipu was doing that after tremendous tapas he did tremendous tapas and attained boon from brahma because his tapas was burning the entire world even deva said brahma ji go and give some boon to him but be very careful he will even take your position he might take brahma loka and he wants to change all the rules of the world he says all that these people have prescribed prohibition and injunction i want to remove everything all that they say is good from henceforth i will declare as bad all this they say bad i will say that is all good this is what our media is doing now they declare what is good and what is bad they picture they de- decide what to picture in the society as good and they speak about it and everything bad they picture why what what is wrong in it so this is hiranyakashipu journalism so hiranyakashipu will do that and brahma came down he asked he asked the boon of a first he asked i should be deathless brahma said hiranyakashipu i also have to go back so how can i give you the boon of deathlessness virinchi hi panchatvam rajati i also will go so i cannot give you immortality some other boon you gone you you ask by which you will become immune to mortality then he asked i should not be killed by anyone created by you that was the boon brahma said okay neither in the day time nor in the night i should be killed yes neither inside the house nor outside the house okay neither by any weapons nor the panjabhutas accepted 
everything is given. Then Hiranyakashibu became very happy because I have won over death. This is what our science is doing, no? Trying to close all the doors of death, all the doors of disease and think that we have conquered. Somebody wanted to close the door of death and created a building where there is no hole and sat inside. That became his place for dying. Like that, Hiranyakashibu took boon from Bhagavan and Jitakashi. He thought, I have won over death. And was wandering, roaming about in the world, creating atrocity everywhere. Kill the Brahmanas, kill the cows. Remove all the Yajnashalas. Drive out the devotees. Pollute the Tirthakshetras. See, these are all regular phenomena which we are seeing now. It constantly happens. Pollute the Tirthakshetras. Re educate people so that they will have no faith, no belief in higher things. Constantly these things were blasted out, propagated and they were, they were afraid because he came to Swarga and plundered everything. Hindra became homeless, Devas, they all changed their form, disguised and came to earth and started wandering. And they all went to Bhagavan and said, Bhagavan, rescue us, rescue us. Then Bhagavan said, wait, wait, wait. What wait? So much suffering is there. You also deserve to suffer. I have sent him for a purpose. I will endure everything that he does. Till he gives trouble to a genuine devotee. That is Bhagavan's condition. Bhagavan says, I will endure every atrocity done by that kind of person, but the only thing that cannot be endured is his creating trouble to true spiritual path. When he obstructs that, decide that he has touched his doom, then he will be wiped out. Let him take boon from anyone. Api varorjitam. Let him take boon from Brahma or Shiva or anyone. I will see to it that he will be killed. So till then, till he touches Prahlada, his own son. A great devotee is born in his house. And he is going to be a cause for his death till that wait. Then Devas returned. Hiranyakashibu had four sons and Prahlada was the last one. Very calm. Prahladu bhoon mahan stesham gunair mahadupasakaham Brahmanya Shila Sampanaha Satya Sandhu Jitendriyaha Parakarada was a Mahatma. He was from the very birth genetically pure. Arjan Maputa. Like Tulasi plant when Naisargi ki ratihi. From its birth it gives out that fragrance like that. Prahlada was fragrant with bhakti, with atmanubhuti. He had devotion to brahmanas. He had a good foundation of character. He was a truthful person. All his senses were controlled. He saw the atman in everyone. He was a friend of all. And he was very humble. And he was compassionate to all, like a parent. And never he got perturbed, disturbed. No dvigna chittaha. Even when disturbed by others, he never got affected by that. 
Vyasaneshu Nispraha. He was unattached. And when someone will come to him and tell him that this thing happens in the world, somebody is doing this, somebody is doing that, about some person or some event, some individual, some news comes to him, he will not get affected by that. Something directly in front of him happened, happens, then also he is not affected. Shruteshu, Drishteshu, Guneshu, Avastudrik, that Mithyatva Bhava, we say Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya, it is not a philosophy, it is a medicine. It is a herb which can heal you. Madhusudana Saraswati puts Prahlada as one of the greatest sthita pragna. In his Gita Bhasha he says, Prahlada is the greatest sthita pragna, unaffected by anything. Shruteshu, something you have not heard, you have only heard, you have not seen, you have only heard, that can also disturb you. Some news disturbs us. Drishtesu, some event in your life disturbs you. Nothing disturbed Prahlata because Avastu Drik. He was convinced that whatever is seen, whatever is heard, whatever is thought of is all mithya, illusory, unreal. Krishna gives this teaching to Uddhava. In Ekadasha Skanda, Bhagavan says, Vachoditam tadanurtam manasadhyata mevacha. Hey Uddhava, whatever is uttered by the mouth is unreal. Spoken of is unreal. And whatever is thought about in the mind is unreal. Neither the thoughts are real nor the objects are real. Be established in that Sachidananda pure consciousness within you which never gets affected by anything which is never corrupted, polluted by any phenomenon, objects or thoughts, which remains like Akasha, that Chidakasha, untouched by any names or forms or movements of emotions or actions or objects, that incorruptible, that immeasurable, Pure self. Prahlada was established in that. And his senses were all in perfect harmony, order. Diseases were not hurting him. There was no asura vasana in him. In that Prahlada, Hiranyakashibu had great affection. Of course, Prahlada was his son. He had great affection. But he was unaware about Prahlada's spiritual stature. Hiranyakashipu's wife, Kayadu, was a great devotee. So she was with affection looking after him. Very beautiful description of bhakti, that anubhuti of Prahlada. Esya vasudeve bhagavati naisargi girati nyastakridana gobalo Jadavatan manastayam Krishna graha grihitatma Nave the jagadi drisham. Generally, children they are attached to toys. But Prahlada had, it is not that anything was lacking. Hiranyakashibu would have put loads, cartloads of toys there, all the guns. And all these things children were having. Like that everything will be given to Prahlada. But he threw away everything. Balastavat Krida Saktaha. He was not for that. He was always in a kind of Samadhi state. He was as if possessed by some... Generally possession happens by some other being. But here he was possessed by Krishna. Krishna Graha Grihita Atma That Atma Shakti was playing in his mind as Samadhi. Krishna Graha Grihita Atma Hence he was not aware of the world. Naveda Idrisham Jagad Naveda We look at the world as this man, that girl, this object, that money, this wealth, that achievement, this attainment. This kind of vikalpa was not there in him. 
Naveda Jagadi Drisham. But at the same time, he was sitting, he was moving about, he was speaking, he was eating, he was drinking, but never lost hold of that Samadhi experience, which here Narada relates, his mind was ever in deep embrace of the Lord. Asinaha Pariyatan Ashtan Shayanaha Prabhipan Bruvan Nanusandhatta Yetani Govinda Pariram Bhidaham Kvajidrudadi Vaikuntha Chinta Shabala Chetanaha Very beautiful expression. Very deep, profoundly mystic. If you observe a still lake, Deep down the waters, suppose a big fish moves. There will be a small flutter in the water. A sm little movement in the surface. Like that, Prahlada will be sitting still. Deep down there is that movement of that Shakti. That Chit Shakti, that blissful Shakti, that Ananda Kala and that Samadhi move, that current moves and his body will be in thrill and that consciousness splashes forth outside as Bhava Samadhi and tears will roll out from his eyes. Kvajidruta Tivai Kuntha Chinta Shabala Chetanaham and there will be a laughter in him. Kvajid hasati ta chinta hlata udgati kvajid aho. He will be sometimes singing as some devotees do when they are chanting Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare in the morning. I hear sometimes that oh, that, that, that ecstatic exclamation. So sometimes he will be singing like that. Kvajid hasati tachinta akhlada udgaya dikvajid nada dikvajid Sometimes you know when that love comes, some kind of meaningless sound comes out. Nada dikvajid utkanto vilajjo nirtya dikvajid Without any body awareness, you will be dancing. Kvajid tat bhavana yuktaha tanmayo nu chakaraha Samudras will manifest. Kvajid utpula gasthu shtim aste samsparsha nirvrta Sometimes with horripilation With whole body In a kind of shiver, in a kind of thrill Will be sitting still Brahma samsparsham sukham atyanta vashnute Like Gita says There will be a touch of that Brahmanubhuti In which he will be ecstatically immersed Sitting, movementless, aspanda, pranayananda, salirami, litekshanaha. No movement, only just blissful tears flowing out. Ramakrishna says, when tears comes from bliss, it will flow through the end of the eyes. When with shoka, with sadness, it will be flowing near the nose. And when it comes from bliss, it will, the taste will be also sweeter. Otherwise it will be salty. So that kind of blissful tears will be flowing out. But Hiranyakashmi was unaware. He decided to put Prahlada in a convent school. Government school. Government convent. In memory of his brother Hiranyaksha, he has started a school, a Padashala. Hiranyaksha Memorial School. There he had two teachers. Actually his guru is Shukracharya. But by the time Prahlada was born, Shukracharya left. He said, I am going for a long Tirtha Yatra. Hiranyakashipu asked him, when will you be back master? I don't know. He thought, I will come when the pillar breaks. <laughs> so he just left. He walked. Went away somewhere. He can go up to Brahma Loka to Tirtha Yatra. So he went away. And he had to mediocrely learnt sons. Chanda and Amarka. They are called Chanda Amarka. 
both will be always together they are qualified because father could not teach them very well so they were put as teachers there and they were teaching in that padashala prahlada was put there Pra they taught the syllabus prescribed by hiranyakashipu nothing religious see our educational system is also like that god religion spirituality comes to the last bench no place for it they think it is all unimportant even in a tirtha kshetra like this so much and destruction even in arunachala we have this problem very precious place the whole world is worshiping that place government also should be sensitive that it is more important than any any place it should be protected its sacredness its sensitivity must be protected it should not be made as a touring place if you invite a tourist to a spiritual place that spiritual place will get destroyed the more worldly people come to a place they will see to it that that place is destroyed financially they they, they think finance is everything money is everything the more money comes all character will go morality will go through long centuries cultivated tradition will go everything will go so this is what is happening and they are clueless the government is clueless i don't know who will speak to them put some sense into their head trivanamale also like that this arunachala is considered as the most sacred place and that going around the hill all all modernization business you cannot walk it becomes a nightmare sometimes when to walk in that road so much crowded so this is because you think money is important you think outer helping someone means our ancients thought give them culture give them samskara give them bhakti spirituality that is now people think give them money give them pleasure give them some way they, through which they can destroy themselves this is what is happening so that is hiranyakashipu's government whose ever government it is a hiranyakashipu element will be there even in ordinary worldly person an ordinary parent hiranyakashipu element will be there they will be all going to temple worshiping doing namaskar to some swami ji but when their son takes to spiritual path they will say this is not for you now first you should make yourself financially secure then you do even a noble person will say like that he will not say renounce and become a bhakta hiranyakashipu element is a virus which is spread out everywhere so it is not a singular phenomenon which happens somewhere in history it is always there when you tell somebody don't go to spiritual life know that this virus is active so here hiranyakashipu put his son prahlada that beautiful child in this patashala they were teaching all nonsense world alone is real money alone is real pleasure alone is real and this child said idam idam abhadram all these are un inauspicious not good not good idam idam abhadra yadridam iti apakurvan sarvam tava charana bhakti eva vavardhe he just evolved and evolved inwardly in bhakti in bhakti in bhakti in anubhuti and one day hiranyakashipu came to patashala some quarterly exam some semester was going on he came there and wanted to investigate what is happening there 
took his child Prahlada, made him sit in his lap, gave a kiss and asked, Kathyatam vatsa manyate sadhu yad bhavan. Tell me, my dear, my beloved Prahlada, what do you consider as most important in life? Hiranyakashipu might have taught that Prahlada will say, tell me what you have learnt. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Aye. Very beginning is a fall. My child is able to chant all these rhymes. Rain, rain, go away. No rain, no water and this boy is singing. Rain, rain, go away. Abhivadanashilasya nityam vridhopase vinaha. Chatvarita Sevardhante Ayur Vidya Yeshobalam. These things were taught. Krishna Ya Vasudevaya can be taught. Achudam Keshavam Ramanarayanam can be taught. Avinayam Apanaya Vishnu Damayamanaha Shamaya Vishayam Rkatrishnam. These things can be taught. But teach something meaningless. Prahlada said, My beloved father, you are a noble one amongst Asura. Hey Asura Varya, please listen to me what I have known in life. Tat sadhu manye Asura Varya dehinam. Generally, we Asuras are always mentally agitated, not peaceful. Because we hold on to the unreal as real and we are having a spiritual downfall in this world because we are too much attached to this griham, this householder's life. It is like fallen in a waterless dark well. Griham anthakupam. We should go to forest to solitude and meditate on Hari, Vanam Gato Yad, Harim Ashrayeta. You just imagine Hiranyakashipu's face. He was seeking to kill Hari in Vaikuntha. Till Vaikuntha he went and he could not locate Vishnu there. And now he is seeing his own son becoming a devotee. He could not endure that, but he somehow pacified himself and said, Oh, he's only a child. Somebody has interpolation. Some syllabus is given which is not prescribed by me. Some samnyasi is coming here. He asked that Shandamarka, teach him very well. He is saying some nonsense. Chandamarkas, they were shocked. They slowly took Prahlada inside. He said, you said something, tell that again. He narrated it again. And they tried to by heart it. It is not happening. What did you say? He chanted some verse. They could not repeat it. They said, my dear child, it is our stomach problem. Stomach problem means not stomach pain. It is our livelihood. Don't put sand in it. Don't throw mud in it. Vatsaprahalad bhadram te. You should live safe and we also should have well-being. Tell us the truth. Who taught you this? Did someone else teach you or this knowledge came to you by yourself? Prahlada said, my dear teachers, there is nobody in the world. Neither he nor she nor you nor I. Only one Atma exists. Swaha paraha cheti asad grahaha pumsam yen mayaya kritaha vimohita dhyam drishtaha tasmai bhagavate namaha. 
to that bhagavan i bow down whose maya has created this vikalpa this illusion of i you he neither i is real nor you is real nor he is real ek eva parohi atma bhagavan only one atma exists sa yesha atma svapareti abuddhi bihi those who are abuddhi fools they think they separate as you i he all the separations are illusory appearances in that pure consciousness and mukhyanti people get deluded without that self knowledge you ask how i worship krishna you know it is like iron filings rushing towards a magnet is it the power of the iron filings it is the power of the magnet which is pulling the iron pieces like that my mind every thought is rushing towards the atma vastu towards hari oh they became angry they could not understand this language bring the cane aniyata mare vetram let us beat him he is like a thorn bush inside this sandalwood jungle daitaiya chandanavane these asuras are all sandalwood just imagine that ramakrishna has given a story where some fisher women were returning from the fish market evening happened they had to sleep somewhere they got accommodation in a flower market in a flower shop they could not sleep because of the fragrance and at last they brought their fish basket put some water and that that smell started coming sound sleep like that these asuras are saying we are all like sandalwood and he is like a thorn bush kantakadrumah and but they did not hurt him they knew they loved prahlada and he is ranyakashipu son so they cannot hurt him so they try to teach him again 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 trivargikam and again hiranyakashipu came took prahlada in his lap and hugged him prahlada did a namaskara hiranyakashipu was in tears and then aropya ankam avagraya murdhini ashurkalambu bihi asinjan vigasad vatram idam ahayu dishtira prahlad anuchyatam tell me he tata my beloved adhitam kinjit uttamam what have you learned kalena etavata till now ayushman he addresses prahlad as ayushman you will have a long span of life this is my blessing to you he says kalena etavata ayushman yada shikshat guru bhavan what have you learned from your teachers father i have found nine methods of sadhana by which we can evolve spiritually first is shravanam you have to listen yes then the second is kirtanam you have to sing 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 then smaranam you have to recollect meditate then physically you have to serve that is right you are right then archanam you have to worship then do namaskara that is also right and all the time you should have the dasa bhava in you you should consider yourself as a servant right my child you should think that the companion is within you that devotion of companionship is needed and at last you have to surrender yourself right all these things you are going to do to me right prahlada said listen to the entire thing shravanam kirtanam vishnu that one name he hated he wanted a localized individual idolatry of the body while prahlada said the all pervading bhagwan who is in the heart of all that vishnu 
Hiranya Kashibu was shivering with anger. He was like a conflagration, like wild fire. He was spitting fire. He stood up and just did a roar. He called a Brahma Bandhu, a fallen Brahmins. He called. That Shandamarkas, they were shivering because they never expected this, that Prahalada will say this. How did you teach this? They said, don't get angry, king. How can we teach this? You just common sense, you think. Can we are trying to by heart certain things he is saying and tell you, report you. As we could not by heart, we didn't tell you. We could not make head or tail of that, what he is teaching. This is his genetic problem. Now, if we tell the truth, we think you are also secretly worshipping. That is why your son is like this. Hiranyakashibu was awestruck. He said, is he by his own doing this? Yes. I did not teach, said the Chanda. Namat Pranitam. The other person said, You are getting me caught. Na Parapranitam. Suto Vadatye Shata Vendra Shatru. Naisar Gigi Yamadirasya Rajan. Niyachamanyum Kadada Smamanaha. Don't get angry with us. This is Naisar Gigi. Genetic. Then he asked, How did you become spiritual like this? Prahalada became happy because one thing that he could not understand is anger. When Hiranyakashipu asked him, How did you get bhakti? Prahalada taught, His father is also now asking for spiritual teaching. So the child said, My dear father, this bhakti is not that easy. It will not come by studying, it will not come by tapas, it will not come by anything. You have to control the senses by with tremendous devotion. You should fall at the feet of Mahapurushas, sadhus and wear that dust in your head. Then only you will have bhakti. Matirna Krishna Parathasvatova Mitho Pipadhyeta Grihavratanam Adanta go bhir vishatam tamisram punaf punaha charvita charvana nam. He became very angry, Hiranyakashivu. And he was about to kill Prahlada by the time Chanda Markas they came across. They said, Don't do that. He is, after all, a child. We will again take him to school and teach him. Hiranyakashivu was a little confused. He wanted to explore the phenomenon. So he said, oh, take him, take him. I don't want to see him. Shanda Markas were, they were very happy. They just hugged and took Prahalada and go, went back to, to Padashala because they now saw that this gentle flower-like child was becoming more powerful than the terrorizing king. They found the power of that gentleness, that mildness, that shanti in Prahlada. They wanted to enjoy him for some more time. Say so they took Prahlada to the school and said, all of you in school you have seen teachers doing this trick, technique. They don't want to teach the children. We say, some, everyone should keep silent. If somebody speaks, you should write his name and the teacher will go somewhere. These Sandamarkas, what they wanted because they could not rule these Asura children. They were like cattle, creating all problems, sometimes putting nail in teacher's chair. So they thought better leave them with Prahlada so that Prahlada will put some sense into their head. They will get some good character. So they left all these Asura boys with Prahlada and went away and sat in the roof to hear what is happening. 
then prahlada geeta that prahlada taught these asura children they were all affectionate to prahlada tell us some story tell us some story prahlada prahlada said mu koncham time challa edukalama finish panni udlam narasimha avatar koncham so prahlada was uh, to, uh, spoke to them see we should have bhakti in life that is after retirement prahlada my father has told we can have bhakti but not now after shatabhishekam we can have bhakti 80th year after that you have you go to bhagavata saptaham sit in the chair and sleep because you can neither hear nor read then you are very safe prahlada said that is not the way if you have bhakti in your childhood the more you grow old bhakti will be grow old like a ripe sweet fruit kaumara aasharet pragnya dharman bhagavatani ha durlabham manusham janma tadapi adhruvam arthadam in your kaumara bhava when you are only 4 years old 5 years old you should have that bhakti because we don't know when death will visit we should be in the very childhood bhakti must be inculcated and prahlada taught them bhakti that in every body bhagwan is residing as the soul as the self and he is our own atmatva sarvabhutanam he is the very self of everyone and he is ever available is the most simplest thing only a person who has attained can say that bhagwan is so simple otherwise people will say it is very difficult very difficult but prahlada got it so easily so he says bhagwan is very simple to attain you have to just love him and he is there standing before you available in your own heart he is everywhere ek eva paro hi atma bhagwan ishwaro avyaya one soul one atma and he is outside as names and forms as trees as plants as human beings as birds as animals as the panjabhuta and inside you he is as the self pratyagatma swarupena drishya rupena cha he is inside you as pratyagatma as the self inside and he is also as the seen as the drishyam he is the seer and he is the seen you have to take that resolve to attain him in this very life and kevala anubhavananda swarupaha parameshwara that parameshwara is in you as anubhavananda swarupa anubhava is his nature experience is the nature of consciousness i is the nature of experience anubhuti hi swaprakasha very nature of anubhuti is swayam prakasha it is swaprakasha it is self effulgent it is ever available in the heart as aham 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 and when you know that you know that el in every where in any form he is available tasma sarveshu bhuteshu dayam kurut sauhurtam make friendship with everyone expand your compassion towards everyone don't have this asura bhava this violent nature then the inner heart the being there will become pleased he was teaching like this then all the asura children they asked where did you get all this knowledge prahlada these are all elaborate i am just doing it concise concise form very very abridged form so these asura children they asked from where did you get this teaching prahlada prahlada said when my father was doing his austerity terrible austerity in mandarachala indra wanted to abduct my pregnant mother kidnapped her i was in her womb and then sage narada came across and told indra don't do this why are you doing this indra said one iranya kashipu himself is so much problem we don't know what his son will do narada said don't think like that a parama bhagavata is there in the womb is not an ordinary person he is a great devotee of bhagwan so don't be afraid of him from him great goodness will come 
I will take care of her. Then Indra did a pradakshana namaskar and went away. Narada Maharshi took my mother to his padashala, to his ashrama. There he spoke to me, spoke to my mother about Bhagavan, about Atma Vidya. He spoke crystal clearly that body is not the self. He spoke that the body has six attributes which are all evanescent and the inner being has twelve intimations by which you can know the inner self. This teaching was given by Narada. Jayate, Asti, Vardhade, Viparinamate, Apakshiyate, Vinashyate. This is all the six attributes of the body. It, it, it is in the womb, it comes out, it grows, it decays, it perishes. But the inner ones, <clears throat> Atma, Nityo, Avyayaha, Atma, Nityo, Avyayaha, Shuddhaha, Ekaha, Kshetraknyaha, Ashrayaha, Avikriyaha, Swadrug, Hetu, Vyapako, Asangi, Anavrataha. Etaihi dvadashabir vidvana atmano lakshanaihi paraihi aham mameti asadbhavam dehadav mohadam tejet. By knowing this lakshana, one has to remove the I and mine, this ego, this mindness from the mind, and one should do, attain this knowledge by Guru Shushrusha, by bhakti, by offering everything that belongs to one, by renunciation, by asak anasakti. By Shraddha, by Kathashravana, then the mind becomes pure. He will behold Hari in every name and form. Hari Sarvesh, Bhutesh, Bhagavan, Asta, Ishvara, Iti Bhutani, Manasa, Kama, Istai, His Sadhu, Mana, Yete. Thus he was teaching. Then, this Shandamarka's thought, it is too, it is becoming too much. Now we cannot keep Prahlada here, we have to report to Hiranyakashipu, otherwise he will give out, give out an elaborate teaching. So they just went and reported to Hiranyakashipu that it is, un, in, it is not tolerable. Prahlada has transformed all the Asura children. The, the thing is already done. So they went to Hiranyakashipu and said he has initiated all the Asura boys. As we have said, Om Namo Narayana Ashtakshari Java today. Prahlada has given Narayana Yanamaha to all Asura boy. No Hiranya Yanamaha. Narayana Yanamaha means God alone is real for life. Hiranya Yanamaha means, Hiranyam means wealth, gold. That alone is real. Those who have that ideal, they are chanting Hiranya Yanamaha. Those who have the higher ideal that God alone is real, that is Narayana Yanamaha. So here, they took Prahlada and said, no more responsibility. Hiranyakashipu became angry. He just threw Prahlada in the floor and with terrible hatred looked at him. But Prahlada was standing there humble, gentle, mild. The eyes were all cool. Hiranyakashipu's eyes were spitting fire, anger. Prahlada's eyes were so cool, so peaceful. <coughs> Hiranyakashipu said, you are giving out a show of humility. All the while you are creating trouble for me. You are fighting in a non-violent way with me. You are creating trouble for me. He durvini tamandatman, he kulabhe dakara adama. Stabdam machasano dudam neshe tvadhyaya makshayam. Today I will dispatch you to the world of Yama. I will send you to the world of Yama. When I become angry, even the God of Gods, Indra, gets tremor. And you stand before me without any shake, without any shiver. Who gave you this strength? Where from you got this strength? Shasanam kim balam? What is your balam? Prahlada said, Are, it is not my balam, it is Vishnu. Balam me vaikuntaham tavacha jagatam chapi sabalam 
my balam is vaikuntha your balam is also vaikuntha and in every creature he is the strength he is the power by his presence everyone is alive everyone is enlivened न केवल मे भवत सवैबलम बलिना चपरेशा हिण्य कशिबू बी केम एंग्री यू आर् इट इज क्लियर दैट यू हेव डिसड टू डई वि मै हाँ अदरव यू विल नाट ब्लैबर लाइक दिस यू से विष्णु विष्णु वेर इज विष्णु प्रह्लाद सेड फादर वेर ही इज नाट ही इज एव्रीवेर He pervades the entire existence. Jale Vishnu, Stale Vishnu, Vishnu Raka Sabuchchade, Stavaram Jangamam Vishnu, Sarvam Vishnu Mayam Jagat. Oh, then I will cut your head. Let me see whether your Vishnu will come and rescue you. He is said to be inhabiting everywhere. So ham vikathavana sishrakka yadharami te. Gopaye da hari stwadya yaste sharanam ipsidam. then he asked whether he is in the pillar prahlada said he is the pillar of the universe in him this universe is standing he is jagan mool stambham then became angry he took his sword he just pulled his sword out and with a roar jumped but he did not even use his sword with his fist so strong he was he just hit the pillar and that pillar broke and from that there was an unbearable lusher effulgence a roar with which the entire existence was shivering the ocean was just in waves after waves after waves and it was boiling and all the stars planets they were all affected by this this tremor and all the devas they were shaken they were all assembled in the sky all the trimurtis were assembled in the sky and this terrible asura he was not afraid he said what is happening here what is happening here from that pillar अरे क्वासु क्वासु सकल जगदात्मा हरिरिति प्रभिन्दे स्मस्तंभम चलित करवालो दिति सुधा अतः पश्चात् विष्णु नहि वदितुम् ईशो सहसा कृपात्मन विश्वात्मन पवन पुरावासिन मृदयमा नारायण बटद्री वाज सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैट ब्यूटीफुल फॉर्म ऑफ कृष्णा इन गुरुवायूर ही हैड द विजन ऑफ दैट कृष्णा बट ही से सडनली दैट फॉर्म इज नो मोर देयर अरे व्हाट इज दिस सम टेरिबल फॉर्म इज देयर इट इज नॉट माय चाइल्ड कृष्णा इट इज समथिंग फ्राइटनिंग इज देयर स विक्रम सत्यम विधा निज भृत्यभाषित व्याप्ति भूतेषु अखिलेशु जात्म अदृश्यता अत्यद्भुत रूपमुद्वहन स्तंभे सभायां न मृगम न मनुषम नईदर एनिमल नॉर ए ह्यूमन बीइंग ए टेरिबल फिगर अपियर्ड देयर it was so effulgent like gold burnished to gold he was shining forth to make the truth to reveal the truth satyam vidhatum nijavritya bhashitam he is all pervading but his vritya asked whether vishnu is there in the pillar who is the vritya Prahlada did not ask whether Vishnu is there in the pillar. It is Hiranyakashipu. He asked because for Prahlada Vishnu is everywhere. But Hiranyakashipu is asking whether Vishnu is there in pillar. So to make Hiranyakashipu's words true, otherwise for Prahlada is all pervading. 
సత్యం విధాతు నిజవృత్య భాషితం వ్యాప్తిం చ భూతేషు అఖిలేషు చ ఆత్మన అదృశ్యత హీ అపియర్ దేర్ అత్యద్భుత రూపము ద్వహన్ విత్ వండరస్ ఫామ్ విత్ వండరస్ ఫామ్ మ్యాగ్నిఫిసెంట్ ఫామ్ విత్ కొడోసల్ ఫామ్ హీ అపియర్డ్ దేర్ అదృశ్యత అత్యద్భుత రూపము ద్వహన్ స్తంభే సభాయాం న మృగం న మానుషం అదృశ్యత అత్యద్భుత స్తంభే గట్టయతో ద వర్డ్స్ ఆర్ సో రివీలింగ్ సో పిక్చరస్ నారాయణ భట్టదిరి నారాయణీయం సే స్తంభే గట్టయతో హిరణ్య కశిపో కర్ణౌ సమాచూర్ణయన్ ఆ ఘూర్ణ జగదండ కుండకుహరో ఘోరస్తవాభూద్రవ శ్రుత్వాయం కిల దైత్యరాజహృదయే పూర్వం కదాపి అశ్రుతం కంపః కశ్చన సంపపాత చలితోపి అంభోజూ విష్టరాత్ ఈవెన్ బ్రహ్మ ట్రంబిల్డ్ ఫ్రమ్ హిస్ లాటస్ సీట్ హిరణ్య కశిపు ఫర్ ఎ మూమెంట్ వాస్ ఆల్సో షేకన్ అండ్ దెన్ హీ సెడ్ ఓ దిస్ ఈజ్ విష్ణు ప్రహ్లాద యూ హ్యావ్ డన్ ఎ గ్రేట్ ఫేవర్ ఫార్ మీ హ్యావ్ సర్చ్ రిమ్ డౌన్ ఫ్రమ్ ద పాదాళ టు ద వైకుంఠ ఐ హ్యావ్ నాట్ ఫౌండ్ అండ్ నౌ యూ హ్యావ్ డన్ ద ధర్మ ఆఫ్ ఎ సన్ you have brought my enemy in the pillar of my house now i will fight with him i will kill with him saying this he took his maze and jumped as a patanga jumps into the fire like that he jumped into that agni that here narasimha was his effulgence his radiance was like fire blazing fire into that he jumped like a hahuti and was fighting bhagavan caught hold of him that ugra narasimha caught hold of him and just through his maze and still he was was a terrible courageous person he was fighting with bhagavan who has appeared his destiny has appeared as narasimha as terrible narasimha but still he was fighting and fighting and fighting and bhagavan took him and the greatest blessing came to him he was made to lie in his lap and bhagwan is not a created being of brahma and the time is the sandhya kala neither day time nor night neither inside nor outside and no weapon only his nails and with that he just tore apart his chest and took all the flesh and blood out of him and the entrails he took it that and wore in his neck and was roaring and roaring such a garjana he was giving and all the devas were standing there brahma rudra indra everyone came and said shantam 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 bhagwan become peaceful 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 is rudra bhava hmm there is some vaishnavas they will only worship narasimha in the pradosha kala evam natita raudra cheshtita vibho shrita paniya bhita shrutyan dasputa geeta sarva mahiman atyanta shuddha krite batadri says atyanta shuddha krite very very pure form very great monk traditions in many places they have narasimha as their upasana murti and it is said that by doing meditation on narasimha it is very easy to generate that energy that spiritual will to do sadhana and to attain jnanam so narasimha is worshiped in many traditions and that narasimha appeared there brahma did his stuti rudra did his stuti indra did his stuti all the sages were worshiping him and then also his anger was not appeased then brahma said asked mahalakshmi requested the divine consort of the lord to go near her he she said he looks different i have never seen such a form before i don't dare to go near then brahma said prahlada my dear child go near the lord he took this form for your sake go and make him peaceful prahlada was not at all afraid 
he saw only the compassion of the lord he went there and did a namaskara swapada mule patitam tamarbhakam vilokya deva kripaya paripluta suddenly the heart of the lord was melting with compassion uthapyati stachirshni adadat karambujam kalahi vitrastadhiyam krita bhayam hiranyakashipu has tortured prahlada like anything i just left out that he has made him drink poison fall from the mountain top he was made to enter the fire and the elephant was made to trample over him nothing could hurt him sashulai raviddah subahumathito diggajaganaihi mahasarpaihi dashtah anashana garahara vidutah in mira's life we see so much pain she undergoes she says rana give me poison and mira has drunk that and she is dancing pivat mira nachire like that many saints have undergone this prahlada story is a forerunner for that there he suffered so much but nothing could hurt him nothing could hurt him because tvai nyastatmatvat kimapi na nipidam abhajat because he was merged in the lord he was merged in the atma nothing could touch him he was so safe here bhagwan touched his head with his hand and made him sit in his lap then prahlada gave out opened his mouth opened his heart a stuti which dripping with bhakti prema came out of him brahma daya suragana munayota siddha satvai kadanamadayo vajasam pravahai naradum burugunaihi aduna api pipruhu किं तोष्टुमर्हति समे हरि रुग्र जाते हैं वी विल सी संपूर्ण ऑफ दिस स्तुति इन द नाइट सत्संग वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रॉस द लिमिट ऑन सिक्स ओ क्लॉक वी विल सी इन द एट ओ क्लॉक सेशन वी विल कंटिन्यू संपूर्ण ऑफ द नरसिंह अवतारा एंड देन टू द अष्टम स्कंद हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे ये तो महात्मा भवसी तथो न वाच्यम मम किंचिदस्ती यथातवेष्ट कुरुमां तथव ताम आत्मनाथ रमण भजा